Welcome to the Twist and Shout Flow. This is going to be a fun, twisty yoga practice, bringing in lots of movement, but also connecting into the breath. We'll start out in a comfortable seated position, so you could have your legs crossed in front of you, or you could be sitting kind of back on your shins, whatever is the most comfortable for your body today. And just start to notice your breath, your inhales and your exhales, maybe starting to lengthen them a bit. And we'll do a few guided breaths in a moment. Take a big inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring your hands through heart center. Inhale, hands sweep up and towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. One more inhale, hands reach for the sky. And exhale. Setting up for our first twist here, we're going to be twisting towards the right. So place your left palm on your right knee, and then you can prop your right hand on the mat behind you. And just gently twist. It's still very early. We haven't warmed up too much. So you're just gently twisting through the spine, looking maybe over your shoulder or towards the side. Nice gentle twist. And then come back through center and repeat on the other side. Right palm comes to left knee and your left palm comes behind you to support you on the mat. And as you're breathing here, you can think about lengthening your spine and bring the crown of your head towards the sky as you inhale and then exhaling to bring that twist a little bit deeper. And then come back through center and we're gonna move onto our hands and knees for tabletop. So you're finding your neutral spine, knees stacked under hips, wrists under shoulders, neck is long, crown of head reaching towards the front of the room. And then we'll bring some movement with cat and cows. So inhale, drop your belly, look forward, cow. Exhale, round through your back, push the mat away, cat. Inhale, drop down, chest shines forward. Exhale, arch your spine, pull your belly button towards the sky. Inhale, drop your belly, cow. Exhale, arch your spine, cat. Inhale. And exhale, really pushing through your palms, push that mat away. Inhale, one more time for cow pose. Exhale to cat. Now returning to your neutral spine, we're gonna do some thread the needles. On an inhale, your right arm floats up like a wing, reach for the side wall, and as you exhale, thread it underneath your body palm facing up and then your cheek and your ear just kind of rests on the mat. A couple variations you can take here. You can either keep your left palm pushing into the mat, keeping you nice and stable there, or as you can see I'm doing in the video, you can reach forward tenting your fingertips to bring that just a little bit deeper. As you prepare to come out of this pose, if your arm is forward, bring it back, press your left palm into the mat and slowly rise up through tabletop. Maybe reaching that right arm out towards the side one more time. And then we'll repeat on the other side. So on a big inhale, left arm floats up. And as you exhale, you thread it underneath your body. Feeling that nice twist in your back. Taking maybe the same variation that you took on the other side, or maybe the other variation would feel better here. Feel it out in your body. Breathe into your twist. And then press through that right palm and slowly bring yourself back to tabletop. From here, we're moving into downward facing dog. So curl those toes under, hips lift up and back. You can play around with pedaling out your feet here, waking up your hamstrings, maybe bending your knees and then straightening them. Just getting a little bit warm here in this downward facing dog. And on your next inhale, your right foot's going to float towards the sky, three-legged dog. 
Breathe here for a moment, just feeling this long line you've created from your heel to your fingertips. One more inhale here, and as you exhale, knee comes in towards nose, step your foot between your hands, wiggle around until you can get it there fully, and find yourself in your low lunge. You can drop your back knee, press the top of your foot into the mat, and just feel this nice stretch in your quadriceps. Big inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to slowly straighten that front leg, planting your right heel into the mat, and then just folding over your leg, feeling a stretch in that hamstring. One more inhale here, and then your exhale brings you back to your low lunge. Plant that left palm into the mat and reach your right fingertips towards the sky so you're twisting towards your right, always twisting towards whichever knee is bent. And then come back through center, plant both palms on the mat, come up onto the ball of that back foot and step back into high plank. We're going to be lowering down onto the mat, so I like to drop my knees and then hug my elbows in nice and tight to my sides and come all the way down onto my belly, setting up for some little baby cobras. On a big inhale, you're gonna push through your palms, peel your chest up off the mat, and then as you exhale, just drop back down. Inhale, pushing and peeling. Keep your gaze nice and neutral, baby cobra. Exhale, drop your forehead to the mat. Inhale, chest lifts. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Exhale back to mat and from here push yourself back into a child's pose bring your knees out as wide as you'd like keeping your big toes touching and then you can bring your forehead down to the mat or a block whichever is more comfortable for you hands can be out nice and long in front of you or you can reach back and grab for your heels or maybe tuck your hands between your bottom and your heels this is going to be our resting pose for today, so feel free to return here at any point in your practice when you need a little bit of stillness, maybe a little bit of a break. Child's pose is always here for you. It's a great place to just reconnect with your breath, slow down your heart rate and breathing a little bit, and add in some rest. When you're ready, we're just shifting up onto hands and knees, tabletop, and then back into downward facing dog. Big inhale, left foot reaches towards the sky, three-legged dog. Take a breath here, really strong in your foundation, reaching that foot towards the sky. Inhale, and as you exhale, knee reaches for nose, foot steps between hands, low lunge. Drop your back knee to the mat, top of foot comes flat, inhale, and then as you exhale, straighten your front leg, come onto the heel of that foot and just fold over, feeling the stretch in that left hamstring. Walk your hands forward, come back into your low lunge, plant that right palm into the mat, and then open up, left fingertips reach towards the sky. And as you breathe here, maybe allowing your exhales to twist you just a little bit further. One more big breath in, and as you release it, hand comes to mat, come onto the ball of that back foot, step back high plank. Now we'll move through a vinyasa if you'd like. You can drop those knees, lower halfway down, bending your elbows, keeping them in nice and tight, and then inhaling to lift your chest, press through the tops of the feet for upward facing dog, and then moving into downward facing dog. On an inhale, bend your knees a lot, start to look forward, and as you exhale, step or hop into a forward fold. An inhale brings you halfway up, hands to shins, have a nice flat back, and then exhale to fold. Inhale, start to bend your knees and very slowly rise all the way up to standing, reaching fingertips towards the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. We're gonna prepare for a chair pose here. So you wanna bring your feet right next to each other so your big toes are touching. 
And then you can inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, sit back into your chair pose. Knees are bent, but they're not going over the toes. Think about pressing in through all four corners of your feet so that you could even lift your toes off the mat. Toes should not be doing much of the work here. You're in a nice lightning bolt shape, reaching through your fingertips. Make sure you're engaging your core so you're not dumping that weight into your spine. Big inhale, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Neck and head come up last. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. And as you exhale, hands come to mat, right foot steps back. Right heel spins to the floor. Foot is at about a 45 degree angle. These are your warrior feet. And once you've found your foundation, you're gonna slowly rise up into warrior one. So torso and hips are facing forward, arms reach towards the sky, keeping your core engaged, tucking your tailbone under. Big deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're gonna find a little twist on this warrior one, pun intended. You're gonna to twist towards the left side of your mat. So just bringing your arms out nice and wide, twisting your torso towards the left, looking towards the left. And then returning back to your original warrior one, dropping your hands to the mat and stepping that back foot forward for a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bending your knees, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. And setting up for your chair pose again, bring your feet to touch on the mat, remembering that we're not using our toes to grip. Bring your arms up towards the sky, and as you exhale, sit your hips nice and low, chair pose. You can bring your palms together at your heart, preparing for a twist here. Big inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna hook that left elbow over that right knee for a nice chair twist. An important thing here is keeping those knees in line with each other, so maybe look down at them and make sure that one's not jutting out in front of the other. You can push through that bottom palm to really open up your twist even more. Big breath in. And then as you breathe out, you just fold forward, release it all. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. And we're gonna repeat that whole sequence on the other side. So inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms to mat, left foot steps back, and find those warrior feet spinning your heel to the ground, setting up your foundation before rising up into a warrior one. Torso is facing the front of the room, fingertips reach, but shoulders relax down your back. Feeling really strong here. You've got a 90 degree bend in your front knee. Big inhale. And then as you exhale, find your twist on this side, so you're opening towards the right side of your mat. Arms reaching for either side before returning to warrior one, then lowering hands to mat and stepping forward for forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up nice and slow. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep your arms towards the sky, prepare your feet for chair pose, and then sit nice and low into chair pose. Strong quads, strong core. Hands come together at your heart and will twist to the left. So on an exhale, you're hooking your right elbow over your left knee, keeping your knees in line with each other, and then pushing through that bottom palm to really open up your chest towards the left side.
One more breath here. And then release it all into a forward fold. Inhale halfway to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms sweep towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands to mat. Step back for high plank. Opportunity to vinyasa, so you can bring your knees down to the mat if you'd like. Shift your weight forward. Hug your elbows in, lower halfway down. As you inhale, press through tops of feet. Heart shines forward for upward facing dog. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot reaches for sky. Then bend your knee and open up your hip. Keeping your shoulders in line with each other, keeping that down dog form all except for that right knee opening that right hip. Returning back through center, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands. Finding those warrior feet again. Left heel spins towards floor. Foot is at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna open up for warrior two. So on a big inhale, windmill your arms. Open up or it's the left side of your mat. So you have a nice 90 degree bend in that front knee. Knee is right over ankle and then press in through the back edge of that back foot. Arms are strong out to your sides, relax your shoulders. On your next inhale, you'll reverse your warrior. So bring your left palm to your left calf or thigh and reach through your right fingertips for the back of the room, keeping that bend in your front knee. Breathe here. Now strain through that front leg. Inhale, arms come through warrior two arms. And you'll find your triangle pose. So reach, reach, reach forward through your front fingertips all the way before releasing your right hand to the mat, to your shin, to a block and reaching your left fingertips towards the sky. So you get a nice twist in this triangle pose. Micro bend in your front knee, but otherwise legs are straight. Arms are in a straight line up and down. Gaze is wherever is most comfortable for you and your breathing. Take a big breath in. And as you release it, you're gonna come back through warrior two, bending through your front knee then cartwheeling your hands down to the mat, stepping back into a high plank. Opportunity to vinyasa or just move straight to your downward dog. If you're vinyasa-ing, lower halfway down before inhaling to your upward facing dog. And exhale, meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot floats towards the sky. And then as you exhale, you bend your knee to open up that hip. Remembering to keep your shoulders in line with each other. On an inhale, come back through that neutral three-legged dog. And as you exhale, knee comes towards nose. Step your foot between your hands and find those warrior two feet. Inhale, windmill your arms up and into warrior two. Nice 90 degree bend in your front knee. Crown of head reaches towards the sky, shoulders relax down your back. Gaze can be neutral or you can look over your front fingertips if that's comfortable for your neck. Next inhale, flip your front palm, reach for the back of the room, reverse warrior. Feeling that huge stretch in your left side body, your left obliques, and don't lose that bend in your front knee, stay nice and strong. Now you can straighten that front leg. Come back through those neutral arms side to side and we're setting up for triangle pose. 
inhale and as you exhale left fingertips reach as far as they can forward before dropping down i like to rest them against my shin and then reach through your right fingertips towards the sky make a nice long line as you twist make sure your shoulders are staying away from your ears and keep breathing here Last inhale here, and as you exhale, you'll come back through warrior two, cartwheel your hands down to the mat, step back for high plank. If you'd like to vinyasa, you can shift your weight forward, lower halfway down, elbows hug in nice and tight. Inhale, chest shines forward, upward facing dog, and exhale for downward facing dog. We're gonna find a little bit of stillness, so stay here or find your child's pose. And just remember to keep breathing nice, big inhales through your nose and exhales through your nose. If you found child's pose, return back to your downward facing dog and we'll all meet there. Inhale, right foot reaches towards sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your foot forward between your hands for low lunge. Set up a nice foundation here, really strong through the ball of that back foot. Then you can reach your arms out behind you like airplane arms, so palms face the mat. And then on a big inhale, you sweep them up towards the sky and find yourself in your high lunge. Front knee is bent 90 degrees, high on the ball of your back foot. Core is engaged, tailbone is tucked. Fingertips reach towards the sky while shoulders fall away from your ears. The modification here is just to bring that back knee down. And if you'd like to do that, release your hands to the mat for some support. And then just come down on that back knee. Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, hands come to heart. Preparing for a twist here. Drop that back knee if you'd like to. You're going to slowly start tipping your torso forward until you can hook that left elbow over your right knee. And just like in that chair twist, pushing through your palms to open up and make that twist a little further. Keep breathing here, allowing those exhales to bring you a little bit deeper into this twist. Big inhale. And then exhale, hands to mat, step back, high plank. If you're gonna take a vinyasa, shift forward, drop your knees if you'd like, hug your elbows in, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll repeat on the other side. So next inhale, left foot floats towards the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step your foot between your hands, creating that strong foundation and then floating your arms behind you into airplane arms. Big breath in. And then as you exhale, sweeping your fingertips up towards the sky and rising into that high lunge. Very, very strong, keep that front knee bent. Back leg is straight, reaching through fingertips. Unclench your jaw, relax your shoulder blades. On your next exhale, your hands can come together at your heart. Start to tip your body forward for your twist. Hook your right elbow over your left knee and twist towards the left side of your mat, pushing through your palms to open up. Gaze can be wherever is comfortable, looking forward, maybe looking a little bit up. One more inhale, and as you exhale, hands to mat, step back to high plank. Vinyasa, lower halfway down, low plank. Inhale, press through tops of feet, lift the thighs off the mat, upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. 
Inhale, bend your knees a lot. Look forward, step or hop to a forward fold. Next inhale brings you halfway up to a flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, bend through your knees, rise all the way up, reach towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to mat, right foot steps back. And then you can lower that right knee to the mat. Top of foot presses into the mat. And then plant your right palm, and we're going to twist towards the left. So opening up and reaching your left fingertips towards the sky. And we're going to prepare to make some nice big circles with your arms. So take a big breath in, and then as you exhale, reach your fingertips towards the back of the room. Sweep them across the mat, reach for the front of the room, and then back towards the sky. Another inhale. Exhale, reach for the back, the mat, the front and the sky. Inhale. Exhale, circle that arm around one more time. And this time as you're reaching for the sky, you're going to take that inhale. And as you exhale, reach for your back foot. So grabbing the top of that foot, a strap could be really helpful here. And you're just going to pull it in towards your bottom as much as feels comfortable. We're getting a twist. You're open through your chest, your shoulder. You're getting a nice quadricep stretch. And you're breathing into this pose. One more inhale here. And then as you exhale, you release. Bring your left hand back down to the mat. And we're setting up for lizard pose. So bring both palms to the inside of your left foot. And then just shift that left foot way over to the edge of your mat, creating some space there. You might stay here for your lizard pose, or you might choose to come down onto your forearms. You can also use blocks here if you want to be kind of somewhere in between. Take a quick second just to check that your toes are facing the same direction as your knee. And then an option for an additional twist here. So you're going to just bring your right arm to about a 45 degree angle and reach your left fingertips for the back of your foot. So recreating the pose we were just in, but a little bit lower down. And as you'll notice, I also decided to come onto the left edge of my left foot. That can help a lot, no matter where you are in the pose, if you've taken the twist or not. Sometimes that can make things a lot more comfortable. Playing around with this pose until you find the variation that you wanna stay in. And then no matter where you've gone, you're going to come back into your neutral lizard pose. Slowly rising back up, placing your palms on the mat. Then you can shift back into that low lunge position so your foot comes towards the center of the mat, hands on either side. And then you're going to slowly shift your hips back and straighten that front leg for a half split. So you're just kind of folding over your front leg. You have just a micro bend in that knee and you're getting a really nice hamstring stretch. One more big inhale here. And as you exhale, bend your knee, come back through low lunge, plant your hands on the mat, and step forward for a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to mat, left foot steps back, low lunge. Drop your back knee. And we'll find a twist here. So plant your left palm into the mat. Open up through the right side by reaching your right fingertips towards the sky. And then we'll start our circle. So on an exhale, you reach for the back of the room, the mat, the front of the room. Inhale as you reach towards the sky. 
Exhale, fingertips go towards the back, the mat, the front. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, one more big circle. Inhale as you reach for the sky. And on this exhale, you're going to reach for your back foot. Grab on if you can. Find that twist and that quadricep stretch. If this is super challenging or uncomfortable, feel free to just stay in that original twist. This is just an extra additional fun thing you can try. One more inhale here. And as you exhale, you release your foot. And bring your palm back down to the mat. Bring both palms to the inside of your right foot and just walk that foot out to the edge of the mat, setting up for lizard. Again, like on the other side, you can stay here or choose to come down onto your forearms, maybe onto a block. If you'd like to come onto the outer edge of that right foot, as long as your knees are going in the same direction as your toes, you're all set. If you'd like to try the twist on this side, your left arm is going to come to a 45 degree angle in front of you. And you're going to reach through your right fingertips for your back foot. Remembering that these are all just variations. You can be taking any variation of lizard pose that we've talked about. You could be back in a child's pose. You're always choosing what feels best for your body today. One more inhale. And as you exhale, release. And we're all going to find that neutral lizard again. Pressing through the palms of your hands to slowly rise up. And then finding that low lunge by bringing palms on either side of your foot. And then from your low lunge, you're going to straighten that front leg and bow over it, getting a nice hamstring stretch. Maybe fingertips are tented, maybe palms are flat on the mat, or maybe you have blocks beneath your hands. And keep breathing into that right hamstring. Inhale. And exhale to low lunge. Come up on the ball of that back foot and step forward for a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to mat. And step your right foot back so you're in a low lunge. Then you're going to bring both palms to the inside of that left foot and just walk yourself into a wide-legged forward fold. So your right heel spins down to the mat. You want all 10 toes facing the long end of your mat. And then in this forward fold, you can have your palms pressing into the mat or blocks. If you're super flexible, maybe you even get down onto your forearms and just allow your head to hang nice and heavy. And then adding in a little movement, you can start walking your palms towards the right side of your mat and bending through your right knee. Just a little side lunge. And then back through center, walk your palms to the left, bend your left knee. And keep moving with breath. Inhale brings you back through center, bend your right knee. Exhale. Inhale back through center, bend your left knee. Exhale. One more inhale back through center, exhale into that right knee. Inhale through center and exhale bending into that left knee. Inhale back through center and then as you exhale we're going to move through Skandasana, bending through your right knee, straightening your left leg and then you're actually just going to sit right down on the mat. Keep your right knee bent and bring it right over your left leg. 
planting that right foot right about next to your knee and we're going to get ready for a half lord of the fishes twist so you can plant your right palm slightly behind you lift your left fingertips towards the sky inhale and as you exhale you're going to twist towards the right side of your mat just allowing that left arm to rest on your thigh and pressing against your thigh to open up your chest and as you breathe through this pose, think about allowing your inhales to lengthen, lift the crown of your head towards the sky. And as you exhale, twisting a little bit deeper, pressing that arm against the outside of your thigh. Start to slowly come out of this twist, bringing your arm down to the mat, uncrossing your legs and bringing both feet straight out in front of you. We're gonna go straight to the other side. So bending your left knee, planting that foot on the outside of your right leg, reaching right fingertips towards the sky on a big inhale, and then exhaling to twist and just hook that arm over the outside edge of that left thigh, pressing into that thigh to open up your heart. Slowly come out of this side, unwinding, and again, feet both come out in front of you. And then we're gonna just get ready to get onto our backs. So very slow and controlled, keeping your core engaged. You can roll down onto your back, keeping those knees bent, maybe bringing your feet in a little closer to your bottom. Feet stay planted on the ground, and then you can just rest your arms down on the mat by your sides, palms facing down. And we're gonna prepare for a bridge pose. On a big inhale, you're going to lift your hips towards the sky. Imagine a string pulling from your belly button way up to the sky and making sure you're keeping some space between your chin and your chest here. You can choose if you'd like to interlace your fingers behind your back and squeeze your shoulder blades together, taking that variation of bridge pose, or you can keep your palms pressing into the mat. Think about lifting through your hips and using your core and trying to relax a bit through those glutes. One more big inhale. And then as you exhale, unclasp your fingers, drop your hips down to the mat. Keep your knees bent and your feet on the mat. And we're gonna do some figure four hip openers. So lift your right foot off the mat and just hook it right on your left knee. If this is enough of a stretch for you, you can absolutely stay right here. Or you can allow your left foot to float off the mat and grab behind your left thigh. And you're kind of just gently pulling your legs in towards your chest to get a nice hip opener. If you lift that left foot off the ground, gently lower it back down, plant that left foot on the mat, and then you can just ever so gently roll to the left side until your right foot plants on the ground. And this is just a figure four twist. So it's a gentle spinal twist just in this figure four position. So you can bring your arms out to the sides, look to your right as far as is comfortable for you and feel that nice gentle spinal twist. To come out of this, you're gonna stay as you are, but just slowly unwind your right leg until your hips are stacked, and then come back through center. So both knees are bent and both feet are planted on the mat. And we're just gonna repeat that whole sequence. So we'll be setting up for another bridge pose. If you'd like this time, maybe you even put a block beneath your tailbone. But when you're ready, you're gonna inhale to lift your hips up nice and high, engaging your core. Again, feeling free to clasp your hands and squeeze your shoulder blades together if that lifts you a bit higher and feels good.
one last big breath in here. And then as you breathe out, lowering down to the ground and setting up for figure four on the other side, lifting that left foot, hooking it over your right knee. And if you'd like to go deeper, lifting your right foot, grabbing behind your right thigh, and as much as you'd like to, pulling in towards your chest. One last inhale here. And as you exhale, right foot lowers to mat and slowly start rolling to the right until your left foot reaches the floor, entering your figure four twist. Arms come out to both sides and gaze gently drops towards the left as far as is comfortable. Keep breathing. Again, to exit this pose, you'll slowly unwind your left leg, stack your hips, come back through center, hug those knees into your chest. Give them one big squeeze. Maybe rock a little bit side to side. The final movements of your practice. And then you're just going to drop both feet back down to the mat and extend your legs out straight in front of you, allowing your feet to splay to both sides. Arms are by your sides. You can open your arms as wide as needed, maybe rolling your shoulder blades a bit under. Allow your eyes to close and come into your final Shavasana pose. Your final resting pose of this practice allowing everything you've just done, all the work you've done to sink in and integrate and just be still. When you're feeling ready, you can slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes, bring some life, some movement back into your body, ankles, wrists, hands, legs, arms, elbows. Maybe you reach high and do a nice big full body stretch. And then you're gonna roll onto one side, 
stacking your hips, just pressing one palm into the mat, maybe using the other arm as a little pillow, getting ready to wake up. Pushing your palm into the mat, bring yourself up into a seated position. You can bring your hands together at your heart. And then maybe you lift them to your forehead so your thumbs press into the center of your forehead. And we bow. Namaste.